massacre in Lagos after the Nigerian government unleashed armed military men on peaceful protesters. Please, this video contains flashy images. Viewer discretion is advised. Heavy shooting at Lekki Toll Gate as entire protesters continue demonstration. Thousands of protesters demanding sweeping police reforms gathered at the Lekki Toll Gate on Tuesday evening, defying a curfew announced earlier by Governor Bajide Sonwolu. As night fell, state operatives raided the location, shooting live rounds indiscriminately, witness said. Clashes between protesters and law enforcement agents in Lagos turned bloody on Tuesday, despite the statewide curfew, with eyewitness telling CNN that multiple demonstrators have been shot by the soldiers. Demonstrators have taken part in daily protests across the country for nearly two weeks over widespread claims of kidnapping, harassment and extortion by a police unit known as the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. Tuesday saw the state governor impose a 24-hour curfew and deploy anti-rail police to the city. One eyewitness at the protest, Akimbo Sola Ogunsanya, said the shooting began after the lights were turned off at the Nigerians cities lucky to beat members of the nigerian army pulled up on us and they started firing he said they were shooting they were firing straight directly at us and a lot of people got hit and i just survived barely going further mr gunson added that barricades on either side of the scene were blocking ambulances from entering in order to treat the wounded the government are Speaking to CNN people. from the scene of the shooting, an eyewitness said he saw multiple bodies laying on the ground when he arrived to help those injured. To Death safe, and severe injury amid the protests the have been reported since the weekend. Because Amnesty International said killed. on its Twitter account on Tuesday that it has received credible but disturbing evidence of excessive use of force occasioning death of protesters. A 17 year old died in police custody on Monday in Kano, a city in the north of the country, after allegedly being tortured, according to Human Rights Group. Many protesters and journalists were assaulted by police and thugs in the capital city of Abuja on the same day. Videos on social media show dozens of cars belonging to protesters are burning and Amnesty International said three people died. It is now visible to the blind and audible to the deaf that President Mohamed Buhari has no clear-cut vision for the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has no value for life and I call on the ICC, International Criminal Court, under the UN system to checkmate the excessive use of power from the Nigerian government. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.